a new parliament building and a new law that could transform the face of India's democracy. After being in the works for decades, the Women's Reservation Bill, which will ensure that 33% reservation of all seats in parliament and state assemblies are for women, has been tabled in the Lok Sabha. Why is this one of the most significant pieces of legislation in our constitutional history? How will this be a game changer for equality in India? Let's explain all of this in simple terms. Now we have a, a copy of the bill which we'll show you later on which has been tabled. It guarantees 33% reservation for women. One third of all seats within this quota are reserved for the SC ST community. Full implementation, remember, won't be immediate. That'll take place by 2027. Seats that are reserved for women will be assigned on a rotational basis. Now that's important and again a point that we need to look at closely. Now, the bill will be implemented after India's new census and the process of delimitation are done. What is delimitation? Well, delimitation literally means the process of fixing limits or boundaries of territorial constituencies having a legislative body. Why is this happening now? That's a question which a lot of people want to know. Why hasn't this happened earlier? Unfortunately, the representation of women in India's parliament has been abysmal. Just 15% of seats are presently occupied by women. This is, in fact, lower than even Pakistan. We've got the Pakistan numbers over there, which is 20%, but that includes reservation. Bangladesh also substantially higher than India at the moment. Nepal as well. And then, if we compare that with a world leader, New Zealand, has a whopping 50% reservation for women, or if not reservation, the presence of women in Parliament. The world average, 